What's up, YouTubers and motorcycle mechanics? If you boogered up the threads on your crankshaft, this uh, happens to be a little 2003 YZ85 bottom end, and somehow the uh, the threads on the very end here of the crankshaft somehow got damaged, and I was unable to screw on you know the the nut that holds the flywheel on. So you're going, oh my goodness, what are we going to do? Um, how do you fix it? Very carefully is how you fix it. I used a method of, you know, of a uh, hand file like this. You basically have to carefully run a hand file along it. And if it's mushroomed out on the very end, you need to smooth it down, you know, so the angle is a little bit more tapered from the top, if that makes sense. Uh, let me get a light here. Hold on. So, LED lights. Yeah, like like the if the end feels larger in here than it is on the shaft, then you need to reduce this with just hand filing very carefully uh, because a nut will not start if it's mushroomed out on the end out here. You know what I'm saying? Just, uh, this so if you're looking at it from the top here, if the very tip out here is larger, even by microns, than the shaft, it's going to be very difficult to get a uh, the nut started. <clears throat> so... That's what the first task is, is to file down the very outer edge, and you can put the file at a slight angle like this while you're turning, you know, while you're turning the, uh, the crank over. So you'd have your file basically at an angle like this while you're turning it with the other hand. And it helps to have the, uh, the bottom end in a vise, which is uh, one of my previous videos. A new thing that I like to do is actually put the engine in a bench vise. That way the, it'll stay stationary, it'll stay, you know, sturdy. So you can turn this right here, and then you just take your hand file, <clears throat> just take my hand file right here while turning it, and just slowly work it down along the outer edge here because this needs to be smaller on the very end. If that makes sense. I did, and uh, something else you can do. Give me one second. Something else uh, you can do if you have a tap and die set, <clears throat> like so. If you have such a thing, you might be able to, you know, just clean up the threads. And on this particular bike, uh, if you don't know the thread size. You definitely need a thread checker. Gotta have it. I mean, talk about a lifesaver because, you know, you go Googling all over the internet. Nobody seems to know what size it is and they all start guessing and whatnot. And you're going, okay, that's not what I'm looking for. So you get a little bolt checker or a thread checker like this. You can get them at most hardware stores because it has thread pitches in various sizes. Priceless little item. Anyway, you take which one that looks similar. And you set it along top of the threads. And if it matches up perfectly, that tells you the thread pitch. And on this particular one, it is a 1.25. Okay? And then, of course, the diameter is 10 millimeter for this particular one. So a 10 by 1.25 is what nut this is in order to screw on. Okay? Uh, but if you're able to clean up the threads, you know, with a die... <clears throat> Like this guy right here. 10 by 1.25. See right there? These are also priceless to have. Unfortunately, I was not able to get my die started. You know, it just would not start. Not quite. Whatever. Uh, I was also able to clean up the nut itself because the threads are a little boogered up inside the nut too. So you get your matching tap 10 by 1.25 
I put this on the uh, on my regular bench vise. You know, like put it up like that on the vise. That way, it's holding stationary. Then you can turn this down on it and put a wrench on it, so you can get some torque on it and clean up the threads of your nut. That's what I did, and you see, it will clean it up. And you may want to spray a little lubricant on it, you know, just to help it out, or some cutting oil or something like that. Anyway, don't panic if you. If your threads are boogered on your crankshaft, just take your time. That's the only way to fix it. Take your time with some, you know, various hand files. You know, go at an angle while looking down at the threads. Let's get a close up here. sure it's not looking so great but you know you need to get your file at an angle slightly while slowly turning it that way you can at least get the thread started you know so you need to clean this up down in here okay the thread you know needs to begin somewhere and it needs to start tapering downward you know watch my fingernail start moving Okay, so we'd use your file in that method. So you can get a really fine pointed file and just set it, you know, right on the tip of the end there and then just turn the crank over and it'll start working its way down. It'll take some time, but you can, all you need to do is probably clean up the very end out here and it's actually the most difficult. But get you a, an assortment of little hand files and they make thread files and things that you can clean it up, make it happen. Don't have to replace the whole freaking crank. Anyway, to recap, this is a 2003 YZ85, and it happens to be a 10 by 1.25 thread size for this guy here. Get you one of these stupid things. Get you a, you know, get you a tap, get you a die, get you a set. A set of these things will save your life. I'm telling you, they have saved my butt so many times, you know, where just something just happens and you mess up the threads on a nut or you have no uh, no other option or whatever. You can't find a replacement. You know what I mean? Just good Lord, it'll, it'll give you gray hair. Anyway, yeah, I have an assortment of all that stuff for just such an emergency. Anyway, that's it. Uh, check out other videos. This is our latest project, little 2003 YZ85. We're doing all sorts of little things to it, and we're finding new ways to work on it because I haven't done a lot of bottom end engine work as far as splitting them open and you know, rebuilding it and that sort of thing. I haven't done a lot of that. So that's what's going to be this project is more of a training session for myself. And so we're going to do a few videos on it, you know, on how to split the cases, how to replace bearings and seals and put it back together and that sort of thing. So... You know, that's going to be our next project. So check out other stuff. Subscribe, like, follow. Click the bell. Y'all have a good day.